Hey lovies, welcome back to another delicious recipe. And on today's recipe, we're going to be making Nigerian chicken shawarma. So guys, let's get started with this recipe. So guys, for this recipe, I'm going to be using some boneless chicken. And I'm also going to be using three sausages, which is optional one carrot and half cabbage so i will start by slicing my chicken breast into a very tiny strips but if you don't have chicken breast you can go ahead and use chicken thighs and cut out the boneless part from the chicken So guys, at this point, you can see the size of my chicken. Right now, I will transfer it into a clean bowl and I will add in just a pinch of salt. I'm using beef seasoning here, but if you do have chicken seasoning, go ahead and season up your chicken with some beef seasoning. But right now, I have just beef stock powder in my kitchen, so I have to make do with that. I'll add in some onion powder, some ginger powder, and some curry powder i will also add in some black peppers and i'll go ahead and mix this up together i will add in a teaspoon lime juice which is optional and i'll add in half a teaspoon paprika powder so I will stir this up together and I will set this aside to marinate for 30 minutes to 1 hour. At least minimum you have to allow this to marinate for up to 30 minutes. So right now I will go ahead and start chopping my already washed and clean cabbage. So when I'm done slicing the cabbage, I will go ahead and transfer this into a clean bowl. And I will use my food grater to grate my carrots. And I will also set this into a bowl and set this aside. So guys, right here I have 3 tablespoon mayonnaise, 3 tablespoon ketchup which I'm going to be mixing together to make my shawarma sauce. So I'll get a clean bowl and add in my mayonnaise. I'll also add in the ketchup. I'll add in just a teaspoon lime juice. And I'm going to be adding in half teaspoon hot cayenne pepper. So if you don't like spice, I would advise you to just go ahead and mix the mayonnaise and ketchup together. So I will mix this up together and set this aside to use as my shawarma cream. So when I'm done with this process, I will set that aside and get my pan into my fire. I will heat up the pan and add in just a little bit of cooking oil just about a tablespoon of cooking oil and i'm going to be using it to fry my chicken so guys if you have a grill you can also use your grill to grill the chicken but if you don't have a grill just go ahead and use just a very tiny amount of cooking oil and use it to stir fry your chicken so guys, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, you're welcome to Lydia Isaac TV. If you do find this video helpful, if you do find this recipe helpful, please don't forget to click on the like button. And also, if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do go ahead and click on that red subscribe button. Click on the bell icon that goes with it. That way you will never miss any upload from this channel. And for all the list of the ingredients I'm using, do check out the description box as I have them all listed over there to make it easy for you to get when you want to make yours. 
so guys when i'm done with the first batch i'll go ahead and start to fry the other batch of the chicken with the same oil in my pot and i will add in my sausage but if you don't like sausage you can totally skip this part so after stir frying the chicken and the sausage i will set the chicken into a plate and use my fork to shred it and when i'm done shredding the chicken right here i have my shawarma wrap that i'm going to be using i'll go ahead and preheat all the shawarma wrap on my cooking pot for just about two minutes on each side and right now i will put the shawarma wrap on a plate and i'll go ahead and put in my shawarma sauce to spread on the bottom which you can go ahead and add any amount of shawarma sauce on your wrap i will go ahead and add in my cabbage some of the shredded chicken and i will also add in my carrots so when i'm done with this process i will go ahead and add in again some shawarma sauce which you can also feel free to add as much or as little as you want so on this one i'm not going to be adding sausage so you can see how i'm carefully and gently wrapping this up so if you like you can use two wraps on your shawarma wrap which is what i like if you don't like you can stick with just using one wrap so after wrapping it with the first one i will go ahead and use the other one to wrap it so guys i'm going to use this opportunity to give a big shout out to my amazing subscriber that requested for this recipe thank you so much for requesting for this recipe and i hope you find it helpful i hope you enjoy watching so guys when i'm done adding all the filling i'll also go ahead and add in the sausage at this point and i'll add in more sauce and you can see how i'm gently going to use my hand to wrap this and when i'm done wrapping it i will add in another wrap and i will gently use my hands to seal it and use it to wrap it up and i will use the same process to wrap the top and at this time i will take this shawarma into my frying pan and use it to grill on each side for just about a minute and right here is our nigeria shawarma ready delicious and inviting so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you do enjoy watching this video till i see you on my next recipe do have a lovely day do have a beautiful day bye bye